Good morning, Brenda with Salt Sugar Spice here. And I am just sitting at my table before I have to get cooking and going over some uh, Google Analytics for the website. And I came to realize that my most popular recipe is right now is actually the quinoa chicken nuggets. And I get it, they're really good. Um, and ironically, I have to make a bunch of quinoa chicken nuggets today and I don't have a video for that. Um, I'm teaching a local Girl Scout troop. I'm doing a little cooking demo for them so they can earn their health, nutrition, and cooking badge later today. So that's why I'm making a batch of these. Um, so I figured I would come on here and throw together a quick little video showing, uh, giving a visual on how to make them. I mean, they're really easy already, but I know you guys love a visual. I love it too. Um, so here it is. Okay, the first step is to put together our breading mixture. It is one quarter cup of Parmesan cheese and one half cup of panko breadcrumbs. You could use regular breadcrumbs. Um, that would be fine. I just prefer the panko breadcrumbs because I just think they're crunchier. I like the, um, I like the texture of them better. Then I'm gonna mix this up and set this aside. All right, so now we are gonna get together the rest of the ingredients besides the chicken. Uh, when we're assembling the chicken nuggets. I already put one cup of yellow quinoa in the mixing bowl. I would use yellow quinoa instead of red. I just think that it will be less um, of a visual differential for the kids when they're eating the chicken nuggets. The yellow kind of just blends in with the chicken meat. Um, and I think it has a more mellow flavor also, um, less nutty than the red quinoa. And we need a quarter cup of Parmesan cheese again, because Parmesan cheese makes everything better. And our spice mixture, which is a, um, excuse me, a teaspoon of kosher salt, half teaspoon of black pepper, teaspoon of onion powder and garlic powder, and a half of a teaspoon of dry mustard powder. Um, I'm gonna let this sit and then start mincing my chicken breast. All right, so here I have already um, cut up the two chicken breasts, it was about a little less than half a pound. Uh, it's better to cut them up rather than putting the whole breast right in the food processor because uh, you want, just want them in smaller pieces so that they grind up more uniformly. Um, what I love about this recipe for quinoa chicken nuggets is that you know exactly what kind of chicken meat is in there. A lot of the time frozen chicken nuggets, besides having lots of chemicals and preservatives in them, um, they don't use, they don't use white chicken meat, not all, maybe a percentage. They use parts of the chicken that you really don't want to be eating and you would never even consider putting in your mouth. They grind it all up and they hide it in there because it's a lot cheaper to produce. Um, that's why I think it's so important to take matters into your own hands sometimes and know exactly what is in your food. And that's it. Ground chicken. 100% chicken breast. Okay, so I've put the chicken meat in with our already spiced uh, quinoa mixture and one egg, and I'm gonna mix this all up and we will be ready to start breading. Okay, I can tell you that this is very fun to do with one hand. Just kidding. So you're gonna take about a tablespoon tablespoon and a half size piece of chicken meat and form it into like a chicken nugget shape. Well, this, like I said, you'd be using two hands if one of them wasn't holding a bone. Um, and then just dredge it right there in the panko breadcrumbs. You really don't need to use egg and flour in, in the way you would traditionally bread something because they stick right on just like this okay and line them up on a pre-oiled um, baking sheet and repeat this recipe will yield about um 20 20 24 about two dozen um chicken nuggets i believe if i remember correctly i will uh i will actually let you know the exact number when i'm done putting together the rest of these. 
Okay, all of the forming and breading is done. I've made about, not about, exactly 24 uniformly, approximately uniformly sized shaped chicken nuggets here. And I am gonna put them in a 425 degree preheated oven for about 15 minutes. And I will flip them halfway through just to get both sides uh, crispy. Okay, so they are done. I roasted them at 425. For 15 minutes, I flipped it halfway through. Um, I did spray with a little olive oil on top just to try to get it to brown. Um, this is what they look like on the inside. So it really does kind of look like a chicken nugget, but it's all white meat, has quinoa, a very wholesome whole grain incorporated throughout, and it doesn't have all of the preservatives and fillers that the frozen chicken nuggets from the grocery store have. So I highly, highly recommend this recipe. My kids love them, and I think the Girl Scouts are going to love them too.